Hello there everyone, it's Casey back today and a lot of people were asking me to do a breakdown of the new season 2 trailer for The Mandalorian on Disney Plus. And I've been, I've really been waiting to do one of these for a while now. It's something I've wanted to do for quite some time. Uh, so without further ado, here is my breakdown of the new season 2 trailer for The Mandalorian. I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so first up on our list we have at the very beginning we see the Razor Crest traveling across the, uh, the upper atmosphere or in the, uh, in the orbit across some unknown planet. We see that it is clearly damaged, it is, you know, smoking out of its engines and it's not doing too well. Uh, but then if we flash forward all the way to a minute and 23 uh, seconds into the trailer, we see that there is actually a ship uh, encompassed in flames, and then you see it's falling through the atmosphere. This is the Razor Crest. If you pause and you look at it just right, this is clearly the Razor Crest, which is engulfed in flames and falling through the atmosphere. What this means, I do not know, but this is clearly the Razor Crest on fire falling through the atmosphere. So that was the first thing I noticed. All right. And then this, I did not notice on my, the first time I watched the trailer. I actually thought this was Rosario Dawson, and I got concerned. I was like, is she not playing the Mandalorian? It's not the case. So the cloaked figure that the Mandalorian sees on, like, that dockyard is actually uh, WWE superstar Sasha Banks. So she was uh, rumored a while ago to be playing Sabine Wren. This is not confirmed, but a lot of people are now speculating that Sabine Wren is actually the cloaked figure that we see here in the trailer played by Sasha Banks. So uh, someone pointed that out to me. That was not my find, but I this looks really cool. If that's the case, I'd be really happy because I'm a huge fan of Star Wars Rebels. Uh, I was actually able to convince a couple of my friends to watch it as well, and they really enjoyed it as well. So if you haven't watched Star Wars Rebels, I would definitely give it a chance because with all the, the, sorry, the rumors and the reports, it's definitely looking like it's going to be important to the story of season two of The Mandalorian, especially with the Darksaber. Um, but yeah, so that is actually Sasha Banks. That is, uh, we do know who the uh, the actor is. We don't know if she's playing Sabine or not, but that would be really cool if that is the case. All right, so next up, if we keep going, we see Gamorreans, which are the same species that uh, were the guards at Jabba's Palace in Return of the Jedi. Uh, I loved uh, uh, them in Lego Star Wars, the complete saga, the old video game. Uh, the Rancor would eat them. You, you had to use them as bait. But those are, in fact, Gamorreans. And that's one of the best things that I love about The Mandalorian and just other Star Wars shows in general. One of the things that I think wasn't touched upon as nicely in the sequels, and I do love the sequels, by the way, but I love how The Mandalorian takes in a perfect blend, a nice mix of both old, iconic alien species and brings in a bunch of new ones as well that are also really, really cool designs. So I really love how they do that in The Mandalorian, and they've continued to do it in Season 2. So... Those are Gamorreans, uh, and I'm really excited to see some, some of them. Okay, and our final topic is going to be the ice planet that we see the Mandalorian taking Baby Yoda to towards the end of the trailer. My initial reaction, and I do believe this, I think it's the planet Elam. So it's the Jedi planet, for those that don't know, where they would travel to get their kyber crystals to build their lightsabers. We've seen it in the Clone Wars and Jedi Fallen Order. Yoda takes some Padawans, some younglings there to find their journey uh, for their kyber crystal. Uh, but then at the time of Jedi Fallen Order... Uh, we see that the Empire is actually there extracting the Kyber from the planet. And then flash forward to The Force Awakens, it actually becomes Starkiller Base. So this is all really interesting. But because The Mandalorian only takes place five years after Return of the Jedi, this would work. So I think that he's going to be taking the child here as part of their search for his people, Yoda's species. Uh, and I would love it if they also traveled to a bunch of other Jedi locations, like some temples across the, the galaxy and stuff. I would love to expand and just... Uh, learn more about that lore a little more and I think this would be the perfect option to do it so uh could you imagine if we just got to go to some Jedi temples like I don't think the last time we saw a Jedi temple live action was since the prequels uh well we saw it on Act 2 uh but that was like the first then it you know I would love to see something like Lothal from Star Wars Rebels something like just absolutely mystical like that that would be sick and then maybe Baby Yoda is the one to open it although you do need like a master and apprentice so I don't know but uh, so I do think that this ice planet is uh, Elam, uh, the Jedi planet. So I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. It's not confirmed, but that is easily the, the, the it's the most, I don't know, reasonable option as to what planet that could be. Uh, this could just be me over speculating, uh, you know, but I do, I have seen a lot of other people uh, basically talk about this as well. Uh, but this was my initial reaction. So uh, I would not be surprised that this is the planet Elam. I don't think it's Hoth. I don't know why they would go to Hoth. Uh, I guess there could be other some other planets as well. But nonetheless, I think that is Elam. So thank you all so much for watching my uh, breakdown of the Season 2 trailer for The Mandalorian. This has been really fun. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, let me know in the comments if you're excited for this new season. I know I am. Uh, and stay tuned for more uh, content. I post uh, daily on TikTok, which is Acer underscore Star Wars underscore Kaser.
Once again, thank you all so much. And may the force be with you all, always.